No, we are actually having two terms. One term is this one, and the other term is this one. We will now further simplify this one. Let me write the comment here as well. Putting, putting the value of k for the lowest powers, lowest powers of x so now look here to this one alpha is any number a constant k is a summation term while here you are having minus 2 so when k will be equal to 0, is it is a summation term, you will have this term is alpha minus 2. When k will be equal to 1, then this will be alpha minus 1. When k will be equal to 2, it will become x power alpha. And then it will come down then alpha. The next term will give you means they will become alpha plus 1, alpha plus 2 and so on. So it started from some value and it will then go to other values and let me write they put the value k equals to 0 and 1 only. So when I put the value of k equal to 0 and 1, then I will get why I am putting the k value 0 and 1. You are actually calculating the k coefficient. Yes. Because our job is to find out the coefficients. Our job is to find out the a k values because it will be a0, a1, a2 and so on. So we want to find out, we want to have some idea what these coefficients are. And we want to find the early coefficients. Means these will be the lowest powers of x. And then there will be high powers as well. Because it's a summation is going on, this x will grow. But for the lowest powers, what are the lowest power? The lowest power will be the lowest value of k. And I am putting those values and it will be equal. This one will become equal a0 and then for k equal to 0, it will become a alpha here. And then it will become alpha minus 1 and plus another value if you put here like a1 means I put k equal to 0 here first and now I am putting k equal to 1. So it will become a1 then k plus sorry alpha plus 1. And then what it will be when k is 1? Alpha. Right? When you will put the two values means 0 and 1, you will get this thing. And then x to the power, okay, a naught, alpha plus 1. Okay, I forgot x with this one. So let me. Let me write x value with this one as well. Okay. So for the zero value of k, this will be a naught alpha and then alpha minus one and x to the power alpha minus two. Right? Plus for the one value of k I will write 
a1, then it will be alpha plus 1 and it will be alpha. And this will be x to the power alpha minus 1. Here, for your information, I have put k equal to 0. Here, I have put k equal to 1. Summation is on all values of k. But the first two terms we have calculated that the first two terms are equal to this and plus now I will write summation on k such that okay now I will write summation on k okay this this point is a bit critical so you should understand this one this k now I will start from which value? From 2, right? This k I will start now from 2. And I will write a k and all this. And I will say that summation is starting from k equal to 2. But then I am having this one as well and here the k will start from 0, right? then this will be a conflict. So what I do? I do another mathematical, you can say, trick. And I write that I will change the k value from k to k plus 2. Clear? Yeah. I will change the value of k from k to k plus 2. And then I will write the summation from k equal to 0. So it will automatically make that thing a Clear? You got it? Yes. If not, then I will explain this again as well. This is k 0 to infinity and a k plus 2. Means here was a k, now I am writing a k plus 2. And then that will become k plus alpha plus 2. Because I will have to write for k k plus 2. And then k plus alpha, so plus 2, so it will be k plus alpha plus 1, clear? And then minus means all this term is, this is a summation, this k is running from 0 to infinity, clear? So I will take this one is common minus and e k a k and k plus alpha because here is not that issue multiplied means this one is multiplied this dot dot so this dot dot is coming in here and this will be k plus alpha so k plus alpha plus 1 minus L into L plus 1 minus L into L plus 1 and then 1 for this one, the square bracket and another for because I am having 1 here 1 here and that one goes and another one starts from here so that one is closed as well and this is equal to 0. Right? You got the point? No. Okay. We put values of k. How many values we put? We put two values. 0 and 1. So this is the value 0 in this series. Right? And the value because this one is starting from k equal to 0 to infinity. So the first two values I put and then I will write this one is summation k will now onwards start from 2 to infinity because first two values I wrote here. Now my k will start from 2 to infinity and it will be a k k plus alpha 
and k plus alpha minus 1 x to the power k plus alpha minus 2 means I am only discuss discussing the first term because the earlier two values you have written here this is value 1 plus this is value 2 plus these are the remaining values now what I did I did a mathematical trick and the mathematical trick is that I want to take this one the summation from 0 to infinity is common then if I write summation from 0 to infinity is common then here this value is supposed to be a2 this value is supposed to be a2 but if I write this like this one then it is fine so what I can do if I want to start this one from 0 then this will be a0 but a0 we have already written there so I will start this from instead of k I will start this from k plus 2 right if I write this way k plus 2 means k I replace by k plus 2 then this summation will start from 0 if I put over here now the summation is starting from k equal to 0 so if I put k equal to 0 here then it is wrong but here I put k equal to 0 then it will give me a2 right got it yes so by doing this tactic I have written this one case combined from all of them now what will be the next value here if I put k equal to 0 then it will be a2 a0, a1 and now a2 and a3, a4 and so on. This k summation from 0 to infinity I have taken common for this one as well. So in order not to uh, disturb the sequence of k I just change these values. Means wherever there was k I replace it with k plus 2. Here was k plus alpha so k plus 2 plus alpha okay so I did a shift here k went to k plus 2 I hope it is clear now in that situation sir all other coefficients are represented in terms of nr and a2 a1 means the second term will remain the same the second term is the same yes because it is from 0 to infinity the only term which was disturbing was this one because it's earlier two terms we have calculated. This will be the third term. Now the third term should come with a2. But if I write k0, then it will start from, means if it is only k, then it will start from a0 again. But k0 we have written there. So I will start it from k plus 2 and then it will give me a2 yes so is the last one as well like uh, the last one that s raised to power k plus alpha yes they will be there they will be there minus 2 k plus alpha x k plus alpha yes that term and then you will have this term so this is that term and then minus a k and summation is there k plus alpha multiplied with k plus alpha minus one, minus one. yes right okay. minus one clear yes. and then minus two k plus alpha and then plus this one okay yes. it's right minus l and l plus one because plus minus is taken as common minus, minus we have taken as common okay so we are done here now all this summation is supposed to be equal to zero what does it mean when you are having a plus b plus c equal to zero what does it mean either all should be zero or one should be equal to the minus of the other so we will say that all, all these terms should be zero. All the terms 
or the terms means when we are having a plus b plus c equal to zero, either a is zero, b is zero, c is zero, or we say a is equal to minus b plus c, that will be a situation. But if you will have some more terms, you don't know how many terms. Because it's going on, you don't know how many terms are there, infinite number of terms. Then you say they individually or separately all term should be zero. And all term should be should be zero in this series. Otherwise it cannot be zero. When all terms are equal to zero, you can say the very first term is equal to zero and it is a not alpha alpha minus 1. Now x to the power minus 2 this is non-zero so the coefficients are equal to 0 and this will be equal to 0 and this implies a0 is non-zero because it's a coefficient here then it means that this thing will be equal to 0 so I write that for a0 non-zero we will have alpha into alpha minus 1 equal to 0 and it will give you that alpha is equal to 0 and 1. Alpha is equal to this. Similarly, the second term a1 a1 alpha plus alpha into alpha plus 1 is equal to 0 and if you say that a1 is non-zero then it means that alpha into alpha plus 1 is equal to 0 which makes alpha equal to 0 and minus 1 right Alpha is equal to 0 here, is equal to 0 here. This is only one value. But alpha is equal to 1 and alpha is equal to minus 1. These are two separate values. And we will, we will disallow, we will disallow alpha equal minus 1. Why? Because if you make alpha equal minus 1, then what it will cause? If alpha is equal to minus 1, then it will cause divergence, divergence of h x equals 0. Divergence are, you can say, a singularity at x equal to 0. When you will, means what will happen here? When you will say that alpha is equal to minus 1, what will happen here? x minus 3, it will be 1 over x power 3. If alpha is minus 1, it will be x minus 2, so 1 over x square. If x equal to 0, then this thing will be diverging. It will become undefined at x equal to 0. So we will disallow this value and we will only take alpha equal to 1.